Hey, I don't know if you'll remember, we first introduced you to Sage on last year's Variety Week. Sage is a beautiful seven-year-old girl who was diagnosed with cancer not once, but twice in her short lifetime. So spending so much of her life uh, in the hospital beds meant that she actually lost a lot of muscle and missed out on the opportunity to develop her motor skills. That's right, but thankfully when Sage needed a little help regaining her strength, Variety helped her prove to everyone that she's much stronger than anyone thought. How strong are you? <laughs> you want to show me your muscles? Every single day, in every moment, you just have this awareness of how special life is. When it's a real possibility that you could lose your child, it makes you see your life and their life in a different way. Sage was only four years old when she was admitted to hospital with stage three cancer. Doctors discovered a tumor that had engulfed her left kidney and a second tumor that had grown inside her heart. Doctors immediately started chemotherapy for Sage, but the cancer was stronger than the chemo. Sage underwent a 13 and a half hour surgery where doctors removed her left kidney, stopped her heart and scraped out the tumor. Sage used all of her strength to recover from such a massive surgery, only to learn nine months later that the cancer had returned. Quite honestly, I felt devastated. I just kept thinking to myself that, well, I need to be, I need to be positive and I need to be strong for her because she deserves that. Sage returned to the hospital for more chemo and more bed rest. But again, her tumors were too strong for the treatments and Sage underwent a second open chest surgery. She endured months of intense radiation treatment, even specialized proton therapy in Seattle. Throughout her lengthy battle, Sage had an important message to share. She kept saying to various nurses, even when I wasn't around, she would say, I'm stronger than you think I am. And you are. I think it's true, Sage. I think you're stronger than we think you are. Sage was strong enough to fight cancer twice. But sometimes, even superheroes need a little help regaining their strength. Thankfully, Variety, the children's charity, stepped in to cover the cost of physiotherapy sessions, which will help her grow stronger every day. Because of your donations, Sage has been given the support she needs to soar. Physio is really important for Sage's development in particular because she's had this time where she's grown without having the opportunity to build the strength to go along with those growing muscles and bones. The hospital saved her life, but there's still so much more that a child needs once they get discharged from the hospital. It's an ongoing progression of healing that takes a lot of time. And if you happen to not have the money for it as a parent, then what do you do? So I'm really thankful um, for the people who give to Variety that enable Sage to have this treatment, because it's like, it's amazing that she can have this, and I know that it's making a big difference for her. Yeah! You're really amazing. Did you know that you're really amazing? <laughs> Aww. Show your heart and donate now. Again, 310 kids, hit those phones for this beautiful little girl. Sage, you see yourself down there on the monitor? <laughs> you are stronger than you think. I am with Sage right now, and Sage's mom, Lynn Ann Graham, thank you so much for joining us and for sharing your story with us. It's one of the most touching ones that we've talked about over the years, and, and it is uh, amazing to see that she's here and looking good. I know she has ongoing health issues, though, so maybe if you can describe where she's at and, and why you, you received at least a little bit of not bad news recently. Well, Sage had a scan in October, and they saw something that very much looked like it was possibly relapse. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, so she, we, she was rushed on a wish trip with Children's Wish Foundation, and it just didn't look very positive. So we were, we were very worried. Um, so she came back and had a biopsy surgery at BC Children's Hospital, 
and um, the results have been confusing. So it's not it's not, not straightforward. Yeah, not definitive. Which I which I. Obviously, you've had to deal with some definitive bad news over the years, so this is more, a little bit more like being in limbo, and that must be a challenge. Definitely. Um, I'm just trying to focus on the positive, that it's definitely not straightforward cancer, right. but they want to keep a close eye on it. So right now, we're waiting for the next scan, and hopefully, um, there'll be no changes um, in what they saw. So maybe it's just one of those little blips that most of us have in our bodies yeah. that we would nev never even know that are there unless we were scanned. Right. Well, we are all hoping that the, the news at the end of it all is good for you and good for Sage. Uh, and knowing the story there, we talked a little bit about how Variety has been involved in providing some funding for some of those extra physiotherapy sessions, which, by the way, you seem to really enjoy Sage, so uh, obviously you love to fly on the trapeze when you go to your physiotherapy sessions, is that true? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can tell by your smile it is. You must feel like you're in the circus sometimes when you're flying with the greatest of ease on that beautiful trapeze. Do you well, like swinging? Yeah. Yeah, she does. Well, we couldn't think of a better way to celebrate what you have gained at some of these physiotherapy sessions than to bring the circus to you. How about that? Oh watch, my goodness. watch oh my goodness. what I'm talking about. Think of that, Lynn, Ann, and Sage. <laughs> I think so. That was amazing. Thank you very much, performers from Circus West and Sage. 
They invited you and your mom to watch their Borealis Cabaret next week at the Annex in downtown Vancouver, which is amazing, and celebrate the Supernatural Circus with them as well. Thank as well, you. there's more. No. Yes. No. Our friends <laughs> and our friends at Cirque du Soleil want you to come and see their new show called Crystal, a breakthrough experience about a girl named Crystal who soars through a world of her own imagination to become what she was always destined to be, confident, liberated, and empowered. Does that sound like anyone you know? <laughs> it's going to be you for sure. Lynn Ann, thank you That's so amazing. much for bringing Sage down here and sharing your story with us. It's thank very you. important for us to get people interested in helping. 310 Kids. It really is a wonderful thing. We hope you enjoy both shows. I just want to say thank you, and thank you to everyone who's donated. I've been watching the show streaming online, and I've been getting emotional all day just looking at those numbers come in, because I've seen how much Vizio has helped Sage. It can make a, a world of difference and change a life. It's amazing. And so it's truly heartwarming. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone in BC who's donated so much from my heart. Thank you. We are happy to do it. Thank you very much. Thanks, Sage.